we are back and it is Pokemon Celebration's release date here in the UK. We have hunted around where I live and we've managed to find quite a few things, other things we've got pre-ordered. But I'll have a quick zoom out with this camera. So you can see we've got a Dark Sylveon box, a Drake Azult, no, Drake Apult Prime box, a Lancer's Charizard box, a Celebrations Deluxe Pin box, and two Elite Trainer boxes. So this is everything we've managed to get our hands on today. We've got a few other things pre-ordered. Pikachu V Union box coming from Australia because I couldn't find it anywhere. Uh, a Pikachu V Max box coming from Australia as well. And then the last one I've been trying to find everywhere. If anyone knows anywhere that's still taking orders for a uh, ultra premium box where you get the Charizard and the Pikachu gold cards, leave a comment down below so I can try and get one. The plan is we'll open the four boxes first and then we'll open the Elite Trainer boxes, but I'm gonna just see what else is in them and then we'll save all the packs until the end. So we'll see all the little tidbits that you get with it. Like obviously you get guaranteed cards in some of them and then we'll open all the random boosters and then we'll save all the Pokemon Celebration boosters the last to see what we get. Let's start with the Draco Pult Prime box. You can't really fit everything in frame. So I'm gonna move things around and just have the boxes so you'll be able to see like computer monitors and stuff, but you know, you can you can deal. So we have our Drake Apult Prime box. Let's open this up. So I, I live next to like Newcastle in England and there was so many people walking around with just bags full of Pokemon cards. Like everyone was like super nice about it, like talking to each other about what they'd managed to find and where they'd found it, so didn't realize that was like a thing, like the Pokemon community seems quite cool. It reminds us of when, when Pokemon Go came out and you could see everyone walking around playing it and like telling each other where Pokemon was, it was quite cool. But we have, so it looks like we get a guaranteed card, a coin, a big co uh, card, two celebrations boosters and a random booster. I feel like you're probably not allowed to put this in your deck. Oh, what's this? You get a little binder, a little, little binder. I'm probably not gonna use it, but that's quite cool. Little binder. And now the interesting stuff. How on earth do I get in here? It's like, is this like welded shut? Hello? We have another oversized coin to add to our really big plastic coin collection. Just a little Pikachu on it, it's quite cool. Uh, we get two celebrations packs, which I will put to one side to open at the end. Uh, one vivid voltage pack. I don't know if it's it's random or if you always get a vivid voltage. We'll put that to one side open at the end. We get a Draco Pult card with a special shiny outside. I've never seen one with just shiny on the outside before. We get code cards. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I've started playing the game and I'd quite like to use the code cards. So apologies to anyone who came along expecting to get code cards for all of it, but I'm gonna be keeping these ones. If that means people don't watch it, I get like 10 viewers anyways. So apologies to the, the 10 folks who want the card, but I, I am gonna be keeping the code cards from now on. Sorry. It is really annoying us having just a PC screen in the background, so I'm gonna get some pop finals to put in the background. So next we'll open the Sylveon, the dark Sylveon V box. So much stuff everywhere. Way too much packaging. Out of this box we get our ginormous dark Sylveon V card, which uh, again, I don't know what it's used for or if it's worth keeping. We get the guaranteed Dark Sylveon V card. All of them have this like little 25 thing. I don't know if that means that they're not legal in tournament play or if it's just to show what set it came from. And then out of this one, we got four celebrations packs to open. And then we have one Darkness Ablaze, gonna get a Charizard, already, already opened my first one. And then one Battle Styles pack, so we'll open them later on as well. Next up we have a What's this one? A Dulux pin collection set. So we get in the pin badge collection, we've got, I mean, this is pretty cool. It's like a 3D Pikachu pin badge. Should I put it on? I'll put it on. This is where I end up stabbing myself in a video. Right, how on earth do you put a badge on without stabbing myself in the nips? Right, I'm gonna do this off camera. Instead of getting me belly out. It's not straight at all. I'll move a bit closer to this. But it's a cool little badge. Did manage to stab myself in the chest, but oh well. Apart from a little badge, we get... Uh, how on earth do you pronounce this? Uh, Zakian? Zakian? X? I've never had... What on earth is level X put on a Zakian? Is this a... 
a reprinted old card which just has mechanics that I don't know about. Um, poker body just looks like uh, you get like abilities with the new cards so I'm guessing poker body is just an old name for an ability. Packs wise we get another four celebrations packs to open at the end and then we get a vivid voltage pack and a chilling rain. The last box which is the most interesting box because it has a Charizard on it which immediately makes it more interesting than the rest. We have our ginormous Lancer's Charizard and then we get our guaranteed Lancer's Charizard. I wonder because this is Lancer's Charizard V and you have like a Charizard V Max. Can you in, can you evolve the Charizard V Max from Lancer's Charizard V or does it have to be a Charizard V? Packs wise we get uh, doo -doo -doo. we get a Darkness Ablaze and a Battle Styles and then we have four more Pokemon Celebrations packs. We just have our two Elite Trainer boxes. So we managed to get two. Um, I, I would have bought more but I am I am completely skinned. Skinned is another word for poor or broke in England because they're going to be the same in each box. I'm going to open one and I'll explain what I got in the one box but then in your heads, just multiply it by two, and that's what we've got in both boxes. Maths. So we'll open this one. I need me pen, because I still haven't got myself a knife. Ooh, we get boxes. I like the boxes. These things. Just because it means um, I've got like shelves full of cards, so it means we've got two more places to put all the spares in. Inside here we have, what's this little thing? A game card, just a rule book. Move this out of the way, because it's in the, in the way. The book is also a hat. Our poison and burn coins, they're exactly the same as the last elite trainer box we got. Some damage dice, which are always nice to have. We have some separators, just to separate the cards inside the thing. A Greninja, is this just on its own? It looks like an old card because we had a poker body on the last one and we've got a poker power this time. Well, that's quite cool. Energy cards in no particular order. Oh, some nice sleeves. They're cool. So I'll have what, 120 sleeves, because maths. Uh, one, two, three, four, five random packs. So we've got some Darkness of Blaze and stuff for the end. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten celebrations packs, which means we have 20 celebrations packs in total from the Elite Trainer box. But we have quite, quite a few. I didn't think I'd have this many. Quite a few packs to open at the end. So from four boxes, two Elite Trainer boxes, we got one, two, three, four, five, Six Darkness Ablaze packs. We got three Chillin' Range packs. Uh, one, two, three, four Battle Styles packs. And one, two, three, four Vivid Voltage packs. So that's what. Should, should have added that up as I was going along. 17 normal packs. <laughs> and then the Celebrations packs. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33 celebrations packs. What we'll do is we'll open up all of the normal ones first and then we'll save the celebrations for the end. So if you're really interested in just the celebrations, just, just skip. Uh, no, no one's going to complain. Just, just skip like 10 minutes. Well, a bit more than 10 minutes because there's quite a few cards. We'll start with Battle Styles. Yeah, we haven't opened any of these, I don't think. We might have had some with the last Elite Trainer box. But yeah, we'll just go with this. Let's start opening pack numero uno. Two, three, a grass energy. Nope. And we have first pack of the day. And there's definitely a shiny at the back in the first pack of the day. I don't know what it is. We haven't had many battle styles, so it's going to be something new. We have a Brooks, Bruix, a Buffalant, an Urn of Vitality. Uh, am I in the camera here? Yeah. A Timber, a Corefish. Uh, Kaknia, Mawil. <laughs> Why is that sound? Mawil. It's a Mawil. A Spoink, a Bronze or Reverse Hollow, and a Tyranitar V, which we haven't had before. There we go. This does not want to go in this sleeve properly. There we go. One, two, three, a uh, grass energy. Oh, if I keep saying grass, eventually there'll be a grass. And we have a uh, carnivine, 
Escape Rope, Tower of Waters, Bronzo, Tepig, uh, How on Earth, Pacharusi, Brew, Pusu, uh, Mine Fu, Bal Toy, Single Strike Scroll of Scorn, uh, Licky Licky, and is that it? Oh, that, that, that's it. One, two, three, a grass energy. Nope, I'll eventually be, get a grass energy. We have another carnivine, a Fiero, a Grumpig, a Glamiao, a Galarian Slowpoke, Yama, a Murkrow, a Salandit, Ponyard, and an Eagle Slash. Aegis Slash? I cannot pronounce any of these Pokemon because they're all ones I haven't seen before. <laughs> It normally takes us a solid like six or seven tries to get a pronunciation right. Just getting stuff everywhere. A water energy. No, the one I've said grass the like past six times, and when I decide to change my mind, it's a grass. We have a Bruxish, another Carnivine, Sword Dart, and Shieldbert. Why? Why did my parents not call me Shieldbert? Imagine how far you'd get in life with a name like Shieldbert. Everyone would hire you. An Elector was an Esper, Timber, Galarian Slowpoke, a Corefish, Reverse Hollow Dotler, and a Tapu Bulu. Tapu Bulu. Tapu Bulu. Next, we'll open Vivid Voltage. A Water Energy. Woo! We're gonna get something good. And we have a Kakuna, a Church Chester Bath. Galarian Stunfish, but it's it's not the Galarian Stunfish V that we've had 50 million times. Uh, Tynamo, Milsuri, Galarian Meowth, Chimcho, a Blitzen, a Skiddo, a Whimsicott, and that is it. A Lightning Energy. Nope, it's a Steel Energy. We have another Bathhouse, a Hitmontop, a Swoobat, Mudbray, Slugma, Wiz, Wiz, Wizmer, an Execute, a Woobat, a Reverse Hollow, B, 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 A, B, B, A, and a Snorlax. He looks like a little baby Snorlax, look how small he is. Look at him, just having a nap. Just chucking stuff anywhere. A Water Energy, nope. And we have a Trumbeak, Hitmontop, Mag, Mag Cargo, Blitzel, uh, Milsery, Skiddo, oh, Eevee, Trubbish. Whoa, what is this? How cool is that? It's like not a V card, but it's like a really weird sort of rainbow hollow. Even the energy's like rainbow esque. I don't know if it's worth anything, but this <laughs> this is a really cool card. I'm gonna get a sleeve for it, because that How cool is that? I didn't even know those cards like that. A lightning energy, because it's a vivid voltage. Nope, it's a rock energy. Literally the opposite. But we do get a hero's medal. Uh, so we have a hero's medal, a hip on top, a croc croc coco, which looks like a bandit crocodile. A shoopit, a feral seed. Joltic, Sand Isle, Sea Dot, uh, Reverse Hollow, Mag Cargo, and a uh, Ninjask. Next, we've got three Chillin' Rain Packs, so we'll open these up next. Little Weedle Boy. A uh, Grass Energy. Nope. Oh! There's a Shiny at the back. This is Chillin' Rain, so we might have already had it, whatever it is. It looked like a normal V card, but we've got a Haunter. A Celio, a Melanie, Weedle, Cast Form, Quillfish, Ralts, Heracross, a Reverse Hollow Steny, and the card at the back is a Galarian Slow King V Max, which I think we've already had. I'm gonna quickly check. Do do do. And unfortunately, we have already had it. But oh, need to move cards about. A Lightning Energy. Nope. I never guess dark or steel, don't know why. And we have from this pack, uh, Expedition Uniform, a Hatrum, a uh, Naked Sheep, 
a Paragon, a Grogi, a non-naked sheep, a Ruffruff, Swirlix, a Reverse Hollow Greedent, and our last chilling. Oh no, we've got another one. Our last one on this is an Ampharos, which I don't get how the sheep turns into this. This looks like some weird alien giraffe thing that just came out of a sheep. How does it get from one to the other? Normally they at least look kind of similar, but this is just a complete 180 on what it was. Imagine if you bought a dog and it grew up to become a horse. That's what's happened. Our last chilling rain card. One, two, three. A steel energy. Nope, it's a grass. And we have Flannery, Rugged Helmet, Crabominable, Galarian Farfetch, Cast Form, Larvestra, Sobble, a Lady Bear, a Reverse Hollow Grokey, and a Volcarano. I got like something in my beard, or is it just catching the light? I think it's just catching the light. I'm looking very hobo esque at the minute. Could probably do with a trim. A gonna guess a water energy. Nope. So, ooh, there's a shiny at the back. Don't know what it is. I move the camera a little bit though. I think I banged the camera and moved it. But we're starting out, oh, uh, what is it? Darkness Ablaze with the Denny, a bird keeper. Uh, Solrock, Grimer, Clink, Skiddy, Pansage, Golet, a Reverse Hollow, Accelagor, and <laughs> another, another Galarian Sunfish. Are you kidding us? I've got four of them now. I've got four. I don't need any more. There's too many Galarian Sunfish in the world. This isn't real. <laughs> we'll, pop them, we'll pop them in a sleeve. If I ever want to make a Galarian Stunfish deck, I've got more than enough. I think the most you can have is four, and I've got four now. I think this is the alt alternate artwork version, because it's got them thick lines on it. But, um, but yeah, I, I love him. I think he's my favourite card now, just because I keep getting him. I can't escape him. He's in me dreams. I'm going to have nightmares about Galarian Stunfishes. <laughs> Pop him down. Oh, if I get another one today, I'm going to stop collecting Pokemon cards and just become a Galarian Stunfish collector. We'll go with Steel Energy for our Galarian Stunfish, and it is a Steel Energy. We're going to get another one. We've got an old PC, Arados, Doug Trio, Jigglypuff, Ducklet, Carablast, Galarian Durumaga, Larvitar, a Wishy Washy, and a Vindilux. Uh, let's go water energy. No, oh, another steel energy. Galarian stunfish in this one. We have Rose, Simapore, Dartrix, Clink, Ducklet, Marip, Paris, Gothida, Reverse Honor, Bulba, and a Gredent. Grass energy. Nope. We have a Heat energy, Simacea, Doug Trio, Phoebus, Perleone, a Hippopotas. Centret, Larvestra, Reverse Hollow Grimer, and a Talent Flame. Ooh, I think I saw a shiny, but I'm not entirely sure. We'll go Water Energy. Nope. But I think I saw a shiny, I might be wrong. Um, we have Rose Tower, Steeny, Dedenne, Jigglypuff, Dunsparce, Clink, uh, Mareni, Torchic, uh, Reverse Hollow Larion, and. Did we get another Galarian Stunfish? No, we got a Centre Scorch V, which we have the Centre Scorch V Max card already. Um, so at least if I want to make a deck around it, I've got the card it evolves from now. We'll get a little sleeve for this bad boy. Uh, let's move stuff around. A Lightning Energy. Nope. Then we have the last pack of Darkness of Blaze is Piers Vanillish. Uh, Shinotic, Diino, Jigglypuff, Dunsparce, Clink, uh, Mareni, Skiddy, and a Mimikyu. That's it for all of the additional cards, which to be fair, we got quite a few nice cards. I don't think anything worth a lot of money. I don't know if this one's worth anything at all, but it's a nice card. But we can finally get to the, the interesting part of the video. And we have, what, what was it, 33, I think? Uh, celebrations packs to open. But let's start out. I don't know what we can get in them. I think it's reprints of old cards mostly. The first pack of the day, right at the end of the video. Sorry to anyone who uh, came around looking. I'm trying not to bend these because I don't know if they're worth anything or... 
I don't think I have to move any cards around either. Do I get a code card? Oh, we do get code cards. So, I saw a V card at the back. Do we get V cards in these? We have Resha Ram. I have no idea what generation he's from. A uh, Zekrum. A Cos Cosmoium. And the card at the back is a Zakayan V. And all the numbering only goes up to 25. So does that mean there's only 25 different cards we can get in these packs? I don't know what any of these are worth, but we'll put cards that I think look like they're worth more than the others in the sleeves. Maybe I'll put them all in the sleeves at the end. Okay, so we already have a duplicate because we've already had the Zekrum. Let's just get rid of the code card. Yeah, we've already had a Zekrum. Uh, a Dialga is... I can't pronounce any of these. A Z Zerenius and a Pikachu, which is cool. It's like kind of shiny. We'll pop him at the back. We'll cover. We'll cover disgraceful Galarian Stunfish with him. I know there's the gold Charizard that you can get from the premium box, which is a guaranteed card. But I don't know if there's a Charizard that you can get from just the packs. Oh shit! Well, I. <laughs> I opened the cards really badly and I already saw a very interesting card. Oh, I'm not doing code cards. But we'll go through them as if I didn't see what was there. We have a Palkia, a Ho-Ho, which is cool. Never had a Ho-Ho before. And then we have a Blastoise, which is, it's got the original numbering on it. If it'll zoom in. So it's two of 102. And we've, we've ordered the first cards for our base set. So they should be coming, but I'm not going to include these even though they're in them numberings. I'm going to get an original Blastoise for it. But I mean, come on, that is that is an awesome card. I don't know if it's worth anything. I don't know what any of these are worth. And the last card is a Surfing Pikachu VMAX, which is awesome. What is this? I'm going to get sleeves for these. These packs are amazing. I don't know what's worth what. And we've only opened, what, three packs? We've got some really nice cards, and I don't know if that means that they're not rare, or if I've been super lucky. Well, uh, when I edit it, we'll look up the prices for everything. And we have, in this pack, a Dialga, a Cosmog. What is this? A Umbreon Gold Star, which I'm pretty sure is one of the rarer cards you can get that is worth quite a bit. And I don't know if I'm getting insane luck here. But what the hell? In a, in a Mew? I'll keep leave the Mew, but this, I'm sure this Umbreon Gold Star was one of the rarer cards. Let's keep going. I don't know whether to be excited because I'm getting good pulls or just it's like this is the bar. Everyone gets these cards. I guess we'll see if by the end I have like seven of them and then we've <laughs> got to know that they're they're not very rare. Okay, so we have Zvel, Cosmog. Okay, we've got another Blastoise, which tells me they're probably not that rare. And then another Pikachu. So I'm guessing the Pikachu's not too rare. But I found two Blastoises, so I'm going to guess that there's a Venus or a Charizard in here somewhere. Hopefully I can find a Charizard. So this one we have a Reshiram, a Groudon, a Cosmog, and a Professor's Research. That seems like the first pack that we've had so far that didn't really have anything interesting in. And we have a Zekrom, another Ho-Ho, a uh, Xerneas and another Zakayan V. We have, <laughs> I'm guessing Zekrom's very common because we've had a lot of them. Zekrom, Ho Ho, a Cryogre, and another Mew. And we have Palkia, another Ho Ho, a Team Magma Groudon which looks like a reprint of an old card because it's got this poker body on that we've seen on some of the other ones. And a Lunala. So we have Lugia, which I don't think we've had yet. 
a Palkia, another Ho Ho, and another Professor's Research. We have Xerneas, Zvetan, another Cryogre, and another Pikachu. We have Zekrom, Palkia, another Ho Ho, and a Sol Sigalio. We have Dialgo, another Cosmog, another Reshiram, and another Professor's Research. We have Palkia, Dialga. Ooh, this is a new one. A Rocket Zapdos. But see, this is Rocket Zapdos is a reprint of an old card, I think, which is why it uses the old card's numbering. But that means it's going to be super hard for me to organize. And then the last card is a Professor's Research. And we got another Ho Ho. Uh, Xenius, Zvetal, and a Mew. Ooh, there's something shiny. We have Zekrom, Palkia. What is this? Can't even read it. A Zekrom? But like a pure shiny thing? Which looks awesome, but it's very hard to read. <laughs> um, again, no idea what these are worth, how rare they are. Are these even tournament legal? Like the reprints of the old card surely aren't. But we'll get a sleeve for them. And the last card is another Mew. And we got Cosmog, Groudon. Have we had the Groudon yet? I think we probably have had the Groudon. A Dark Gyarados. <laughs> what is going on with the artwork on this card? He looks rowdy as hell. Like what is he doing? Cool card though. And a flying Pikachu V, which is one of the normal ones. That might be worth something. It's quite cool. Awesome artwork on that card, though. Look how happy he is, just floating around on his balloons. And we got a Cosmog, Zvetal, a Claydol, which we haven't had yet. Reprint of an old card because it's not the 25 numbering. We'll get a sleeve for him and a Lunala. This one we have a Xerneas, a Groudon, a Garchomp C level X. Wow, that's a long name for a card. Uh, we'll get a sleeve for him. He looks kind of cool. And a Lunala, which we've already had. But we seem to be doing quite well. I'm guessing they're rare, but not as rare as finding a normal V card. Because there was no way I'd have this many hits off just 33 packs. Like off a full booster box of like chilling rain and things, I'd normally expect about seven or eight decent cards. Whereas this just seems to be a little bit wild. Uh, here we have Zvetal, Xerneas, a Cosmog, and a Mew. Nothing interesting in that one. And we have a Cosmog, a Cryogre. Uh, something's Pikachu? Are you supposed to write your name on this card? With a birthday surprise? It's got like a little promo thing? That's awesome! Like, there'll be so many kids that have original versions of this card and they've just scrawled their name over it so it's not worth anything anymore. And then the last card is a Mew. So we'll get a sleeve for our Pikachu's birthday party card. I'm not gonna scrawl my name over it like I would have when I was seven. I would 100% have wrote my name on this card when I was little. Open sesame. There's so, so many packets on the side of my desk. Like, look at this. What's this? Put that back. Maybe I shouldn't move the camera. <laughs> oh, there's another shiny in the bag here. We have Cosmog, Zvetal, a Zekrom and another flying Pikachu V, so I'm guessing that's not that rare. We'll pop them in a sleeve. I don't care if these aren't rare. It's so fun just opening packs and just getting so many, like, decent cards. We have a Xerneas, a Lugia, another Pikachu's birthday surprise, and... A full artwork professor's research. 
Now I'm guessing that's going to be a pretty rare card because normally the full art trainer cards are really rare. Um, but again, we'll look it up at the end. But we're going to get a sleeve for the the Pikachu's birthday and this professor's research card. Bleh, professor's research card. <laughs> Maybe I'll find a Venus or that might be less rare. We got a Lugia, a Ho Ho, a Reshiram, and a normal Professor's Research, just a boring pack. We have Cryogre, Xerneas, a Groudon, and a Salagobello. Salagoglu? Nailed it. We got Cryogre, Zvetal, Groudon, and Lunala. Me packs are starting to like avalanche on my desk. We have Reshiram, Zekrom, a third Blastoise of the day, and a Mew. I'd like to get one of the other original. I feel like Blastoise is probably the most common out of uh, the originals. We got Lugia, Cosmog, Cryogre, and a Selego. Salalala. And it is Dialga, Zvetal, Cosmog, and the card at the back is one we haven't had yet. Uh, Zamenzenta? Zamenzenta? V? So it's one of the 25 that we're looking for to try and finish that set off. Pop him in a sleeve. It's kind of cool. He's one of the dogs from the, the new game, the Sword and Shield game. He looks like the shield one. We have, ooh, there's something else shiny at the back of here. Maybe something I've had. Cosmo, Cosmog. Ooh, we haven't had this yet. A Rocket Admin. Uh, it looks like an old trainer card because it's not in the 25. But that's cool, we haven't had that, so we'll pop that in a sleeve. And the card at the back is another flying Pikachu V, which is the third one we've had today. So we got Groudon. Cosmio, Lugia, and another Pikachu. Second last pack of the day. This video is over an hour without editing. It's going to take a while. <laughs> and we got another Cryogre, a Xerneas, another Lugia, and a Mew. One last chance to get something that we haven't had yet. Let's open it up. Oh, not cold card. Shh, don't. <laughs> and we got the last pack of the celebrations today is a Reshiram, a Zekrom, a Rocket Zapdos, which we've already had, and the card at the back is another surfing Pikachu V Max, which is a cool card. We didn't get we didn't get the Charizard or the Venusaur, but we got three Blastoise. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll see if I can find someone to trade with. I I don't know what if anything is rare or what's worth anything, but fun wise, I really enjoyed opening them, seeing some of the old cards, getting our three original Blastoise. I don't know if it's more or less rare than the Venus or the Charizard, or if we just had some very bad luck to get three of the Blastoise. Do -do. I think probably this Professor's Research is going to be the rarest one that I got because the full artwork cards tend to be. But yeah, we're going to try and get our hands on, well, we've got a pre-order for this, the Union, the V Union box. We've got a pre-order for a V Max box, and then we're trying to get a hold of an Ultra Premium box again. If anyone knows a website that are still taking orders, leave a comment down below so I can try and get one. And hopefully we'll see what we can get from those packs. I think it was super fun getting the the normal packs to open. I got quite a good few pulls, and this was like ridiculously fun. I think this is the most fun I've had opening Pokemon cards. Once the, the other pre-orders come in, we'll do other videos, but if you guys liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next videos. And I'm going to go and organize all of this, which is going to take me a while. See you next time.